Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. Put your robo hair. Sprite Castle. Hello and welcome to another episode of Sprite Castle. On today's episode, I'm going to be playing the classic Nintendo slash Parker Brothers game, Popeye. Uh, I got the idea for this show after listening to the latest episode of No Quarter, which is a great, great podcast that um, done by uh, Mike McGinnis and Carrington Manston, who play arcade games and then they cry about how terrible um, the Apple II is compared to the Commodore 64. And, it, and it's very admirable. You know what I mean? It's like being a... Um, uh, a Dallas Cowboys fan um, all those years when the Cowboys were losing. But you stick with them, even though you're with the uh, worst team. So I uh, do applaud them for uh, remaining loyal to the uh, Apple II. Uh, anyway, um, you don't hear that from Commodore users because Commodore users are greatly happy with the amount of software and the quality of games. <laughs> Boy, am I digging in a hole here. <laughs> those guys are going to kill me. But here we have uh, Popeye. The uh, classic game, uh, you may uh, know that it was originally released uh, for, uh, well, originally it came out in arcades. It was released by um, Nintendo, and it was later ported to lots of other systems, uh, Commodore 64 being one. Uh, there is an a, a, uh, Atari 2600 version. There are lots of versions. Lots of them are terrible. Uh, so what's going on here? Well, you have uh, olive oil up there at the top. Let's see if I can punch these. Uh, olive oil is at the top, professing her love to Popeye by throwing down um, these little hearts. Uh, and that was uh, Bluto, who uh, just smacked me in the head. Uh, so, the goal here is to... There's a, a can of spinach, which if you'd like to see what that does, I could get this can of spinach and notice I turned green because I'm full of... Uh, Spinach power. I don't even have to punch him. You just touch poor Bluto uh, there, and he goes flying. So Olive Oil is uh, professing her love to me by dropping these little hearts, and so it is my job to catch these hearts. Um, you must do so while avoiding Bluto there, who obviously, as you may have seen, can jump up and put you into a whirling dervish type. It just spin you uncontrollably. I guess that was death. Um, so, if you want to stay totally safe, you need to stay two levels away from him. Now, in the arcade version, here's the sea hag here, and she is tired. You're supposed to punch those cans, but apparently it can't hit old Popeye in the face. And uh, this version is, I find, harder <laughs> than the arcade version. Uh, one reason is on the arcade version, uh, when, when Bluto does his jumps or attacks or whatever, then there's a, a moment where he won't do them. But on this version, he just kind of keeps continuing doing them. Um, now up here is a punching bag, and if I could punch this, you'll see I can drop that little can, and had I timed that better, I would have dropped that right on uh, Bluto's head, but that didn't happen. These stars will go down here in the water eventually, and you can uh, grab them there too before they uh, wash away. And uh, so, on uh, the episode of No Quarter that I just listened to, the guys, uh, Carrington and Mike, talked about, correctly so, how this is kind of the uh, bastard stepchild of Donkey Kong. Uh, it definitely doesn't get the love that Donkey Kong got, and um, I don't know if it's because... Uh, People don't like Popeye. I am a fan of Popeye. I know Mike talked about how he grew up liking Popeye. I was a big fan of Popeye. Um, I always liked his little um, sarcastic quips that he would do. Um, boy, if I get stuck up here, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to be in trouble anyway. Ha <laughs> ha, Popeye. Popeye is bye-bye, it looks like. Um, yeah, I, I liked Popeye, and I liked... Uh, um, uh, Woody Woodpecker, I was a big fan of, even more so than, um, I would say probably Disney. I, I mean, I, I liked, um, Warner Brothers stuff too, but, um, there are multiple levels to this game, which, um, sadly, I didn't show you. I may take one more. 
one more run of Popeye here and see if I can... Uh, you'll notice that uh, as I collect these hearts, they are getting added up there to Olive Oil's house. The ultimate goal is to fill that house with uh, all 24 hearts. Boop, boop, boop. So you have the... Uh, look like the uh, sea hag shows up. There's a... Uh, I think it's a buzzard. Some kind of bird that shows up. Oh, Bluto throws things at you. One thing that uh, I guess makes the game somewhat fair <laughs> is that um, at least Bluto's not faster than you. He's like the same speed as you, so uh, you can't catch him, but he also can't catch you. So let's go ahead and... Um... God! He's got an amazing reach. If Bluto um, gets out of the olive oil kidnapping business and wants to get into the NBA... Is an amazing reach. That's my Popeye face. I wish I had a better Popeye impersonation. I would do it. I think he owes me an apology. Right, so we're collecting the hearts here. Like I said, there's a oh. So let's try and punch these again since that's worked so so well for me in the past. Not uh, not so good at the Popeye. Um, obviously graphical wise it's not uh, the same as the arcade version but uh, it does have the same levels it has uh, the play field has not been uh, abbreviated in any way in other words uh, the same amount of levels notice that when you have the spinach also it freezes the hearts which almost defeats the purpose of having the spinach I mean the idea of using your one can of spinach on this level would be uh, that while uh, Bluto uh, is away. Alright, we're gonna try this one more time. One, two, three, four. That. It's like Popeye was born to do it. Come back! I wanna show you something. I have no idea what it could be. What happened? Oh. Well, if the heart. Heart sits down in the water, apparently that kills Popeye too. For being a very muscular sailor, he's kind of a wimpy. I mean, I don't want to call the dude out, like on this national uh, episode of Sprite Castle, but, um, you know, uh, if Bluto tickles his feet, hits his hat, or one of Olive Oil's hearts fall into the water, it kills Popeye. So... Popeye should spend a little bit more time maybe in the weight training room. Um, why does the dude not eat spinach all the time? I mean, remember he had like one can of spinach? Why wouldn't he have like 80 cans of spinach? I don't know what to do. <sighs> spinach I, it can't be that expensive. I mean, it, you wouldn't think this is a uh, financial uh, limitation. Now see... How he does this, you should be able to uh, run underneath him. I forgot that uh, you couldn't just let the hearts down there indefinitely. Okay. So, yeah, it does seem to me like in the arcade version, it's been a while since I played it as well, but, uh, like, uh, he couldn't just continually do that. Like, it would give you a little break. We'll go around. So, uh, I want to say this is Popeye, but this is one third of Popeye. There are some other uh, screens, and I would like to get to them. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Oh, and the heart broke. The heart knows what the heart knows, and that heart knew that uh, by splitting in half there, it would not help olive oil. That doesn't even make any sense. And it's not, I mean, the most advantageous time to eat the spinach would be when there are a bunch of hearts on the screen that you need to go collect, um, since they all freeze in place. But, uh, I mean, right after you get killed, seems like uh, you just want to do it out of spite, like right now. And when 
and that happens, you are a little bit faster than Bluto there, and you can uh, sneak up on him and give him a good uh, thrashing. Wow, only eight more! You know, and your wife says, um, if you really love me, you would do this one thing. But Olive Oil says, if you really love me, you would do this 24 times. Because that's how much Popeye loves the olive oil. By the way, on the uh, No Quarter podcast, uh, they uh, each week you're trying to guess what game they're going to be playing. And uh, I always try to do it in a fun and witty way so as not to spoil the game for uh, other people because you don't want to just say, hey, you're playing Popeye. Oh, let me see, hey. And uh, so anyway, the way that I did it uh, last week was... <laughs> yes! I don't know what that actually... Is it like a tire? It looks like I just dropped a beehive on his head. Oh, look how much I love you, Olive Oil. I love you 24 times as much as Bluto. So this is the uh, same thing here. We're going to be collecting musical notes because uh, in all her appreciation for all that we've done, she says, why don't you go pick up some more of my crap, Popeye? If you really love me, you'd go pick up the kids and stop by and get dinner on the way home, Popeye. Boy. So, different, uh, little different uh, play things going on in this level, but essentially, uh, to reference the music note there, the song remains the same. Oh, he pulls out a pun live on Sprite Castle. You heard it here first. Uh, well, obviously, this is because he's just the master of tickling my hair. He does it twice? I guess maybe he could just do it twice. One. Oh. I have a few more notes. Hey, I like that moon. I didn't notice that moon up there at the top. It's a pretty good looking moon. Kind of looks like Mr. Moon Pie. So anyway, that's uh, obviously as far as I'm going to get in Popeye today. So um, if you like uh, old Commodore games, old computer games, be sure to check out SpriteCastle.com where you can find all the episodes of Sprite Castle. Also, be sure to check out throwbacknetwork.net, which is an entire podcasting network full of retro-themed podcasts, including Sprite Castle, You Don't Know Flack, and lots of other retro-themed shows. And go check out my friends uh, Mike and Carrington on their No Quarter podcast show uh, and check out uh, some of the arcade games that they're playing. So that wraps up this episode. I'm going to go punch uh, olive oil in the face, and I will see you in the next episode of Sprite Castle.